life has its way of kicking me in the dirt. Every time I try to grab a breath of fresh air, it's like someone or something is pushing me deep into the earth. It's like someone was drowning me, you know? I'm getting just enough air to breathe and keep going, but I'm, I'm still being pinned down. I'm afraid that eventually I'm gonna get tired and let the water wash me away. Nowadays, I make my own rules. When the lifeguards aren't looking out for you, the need, the desire to live becomes this an end. Hold on to that booty. Bite the hand that holds you down, whatever it takes. The men I deal with either think I'm too weak to defend myself or too weak to be helped, past the point of not worth it. This is why I keep running through the laps of my life. Wake up, work, eat, shit, sleep, wake up, work, eat, shit, sleep, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I go around thinking those are just motions, but everything, everything in here, it's all gone. Worthless space being taken up by this list and this saying, go here, wash this, cook that, drive over here to pick up these, and take a nap in the car to avoid passing on the road. Because God hates you. I was also pretty stupid. My parents kept on telling me that, that it was a mistake. He's no good for you. I thought I was in love. And all I could do was gesture my belly and say, well, if we don't get married, then I have to get up, but, but, but we, we don't say the A word in my house. No, you don't get an A word unless you're going to marry another kind of A word. Yeah, that happened, but that's not the point. One of my cousin's kids, Teresa, she read all of those Twilight books, you know? No one ever told me it was every little girl's dream for a glittery vampire to fall in love with you. I married a vampire, and guess what? He sucked the fucking life out of me, leaving me with nothing. Now it is my turn to start over a little bit. But then when need be, I'm gonna suck it out of him. So scams? I wouldn't call them scams. Maybe a little grifting here or there, but I don't scam anyone. People are smart, right? They're supposed to be. I mean, they are living in one of the roughest cities in the world. Whether or not it's a fresh-faced blondie from Kansas City looking for her big break on Broadway, or a tenor janitor at some PS1 whatever school. They're all the same. They're diamonds. Everything is a diamond. So, what do I do? I find those nicks. I find the nicks on the diamonds. I polish them up. And when I do, I know everything there is to know about this diamond. If people were diamonds, I'd be the master jeweler. That's right. I keep polishing so my son has a chance to grow up and go to school and be smart. And I'd have to deal with what I deal or do with what I'm doing. His father isn't going to help. His dad will just tell him to get a job and take half of his paycheck for his rent. Any scumbag can make a baby, but not everyone can be a parent. If I was a diamond, I'd have a couple of nicks here and there. I'm glad I'm not though. Instead of a man, I married a scumbag in man's skin. I learned from my mistake. Now, all I have to do is keep going.